I want to show you guys my new setup. Most of you know that I'm rocking with RME right now. I got a new RME interface and I wanna show you guys how I have all the gear in my studio hooked up and routed. First off, if you know about RME, you know about this software called Total Mix. It is by far one of the best mixers I've ever seen. The way Total Mix works is you can route any channel anywhere. Right here in this bottom right corner, this is my control panel. So how I have my stuff routed is the ADI2 Pro. If you can see it, it's right here. This is the ADI2 Pro right here. So the ADI2 Pro is what my monitors are plugged into. That's where all the sound is coming from. Everything that I hear is going out of my ADI2 Pro into the speakers. The reason why I got the RME ADI2 Pro is because it's one of the best sounding converters out there. It's running from my main interface, which is the RADAT, out via AES connection into the ADI2 Pro. So the next interface is the UCX2. And that's my old RME interface that I bought, which I'm now using for a converter. The UFX2 right now is an interface mainly if I have synths to plug in or I can plug in headphones coming out or I can plug in guitars, extra microphones, whatever I want. UCX2 is being used as another converter and that's plugging via ADAT into my main interface, which is the RME RADAT. And then right here, the Ferrofish Pulse 16. And what that is is 16 inputs and 16 outputs. So I have everything in this studio plugged in into the Ferrofish. All my synths, my SP404, my compressors, my mic preamp and my microphone. I also have another UA interface here. Everything is plugged into the Ferrofish. So that's 16 inputs and 16 outputs. And that plugs via ADAT two ADAT cables in, two ADAT cables out into my RME RADAT. And so when you look at this, this is all of that. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty basic. You guys are like, all right, so what's the deal with RME? What makes it so dope? This is what's crazy about RME. I have this device, this device right here. This is called the ARC USB. And the ARC USB, it's my monitor controller. I can control the volume of my monitors. I can control the volume of anybody who has headphones in the studio. So if I have a vocalist in cutting vocals, I can adjust their headphone mix. I can adjust my headphone mix. I can adjust speakers. I can mute speakers. I can do all that stuff. But the amazing thing is it has eight snapshots built in. So if we look back here, these eight snapshots up top correspond with these eight snapshots here. And how I have it routed is pretty crazy. Check it out. If I hit, for example, number four, mic check, one, two, it's now running through my SP404. So now if I want reverb, you guys are hearing on the stream reverb through my SP404. So I hit that to route through my SP404 and one button, boom, I'm back to the regular mixer, just the microphone. So if I want to add reverb, boom, got reverb. Now it reverbs off. It's doing this internally in the interface with Total Mix. It is so crazy. This is like my dream setup. So I have a snapshot for my synthesizers and my microphone. So it's everything going in just raw into the interface. And the way I have it set up is I have one channel right here for recording. In Ableton, when I make a new track, it's automatically set up so everything gets recorded into two tracks. I'm not in a place right now where I need multiple inputs at the same time. I don't need somebody playing a keyboard over here, a keyboard over there and doing vocals at the same time. Because I'm a studio musician, a studio producer, I have it set up so everything is just going into the record channel right here. That's all I need. And then I have loopback which is sending to this stream right now. This is everything that's going to the live stream. Or if I was doing like a Zoom call or anything like that, everything is going into loopback. If I play my Prophet 10, it's going into record and loopback. And you can see at the top, those are my physical inputs on the RME. So I have all these inputs all going into two channels. The thing that always annoyed me is if I had a lot of things plugged into my interface, every time I wanted to record something, I'd have to select a new channel. So now everything's going in all at once and I can record just on one stereo pair and that's it. That makes me happy. I love that setup. And that's not it. Watch this box right here. As I switch through these, if I click the next one, it's going to mute all the inputs. 
Okay, so it muted the inputs. So if I hit that, if I hit that, all the inputs are muted, no synths, nothing. If I hit the third one, this is for vocal tracking. So if you look up top, all the inputs for all my synths, SP404, everything, all the faders are down. So you don't get any extra noise. Those are up, those are down. And like I said, four is the SP404. So now everything is tracking through the SP404. Effects, and you can control what goes into it by clicking here. So this is everything going into the SP404. If I hit five, my 500 series rack. Right there, that's my 500 series rack. When I push five, everything will go through that 500 series. So now the mic and everything is going into the 500 series. Let me show y'all what it sounds like running some of my drums through the 500 series. Okay, so that's with the 500 series. And that's without it. So you get the idea. That's another routing in RME. I hit one button and everything goes through my 500 series. Another button, this button right here is 2LTL. I have something called the Silver Bullet by Louder Than Liftoff. It's another mic preamp, a creative distortion rack. So if I hit this button, everything will go into the LTL as long as I select the channel in Ableton. And then like I said, mute mic. Check. So that mutes the mic. That's my setup right now. It is night and day, <laughs> the best setup I've ever had. I love RME. I did a lot of research before I bought into RME. Basically, everyone who knows what they're talking about says that it has the best quality drivers. The difference between RME and other interface companies is RME writes their own drivers. By the way, I just have to say, I'm not in any way endorsed by RME. I'm just a producer that is really happy with his experience right now. So there's no endorsement going Going on here i'm not trying to convince anyone to get it just from one producer to another i'm excited about it and i like to talk about things that i'm excited about and i like to put it out there that i'm enjoying it my setup is great i'm feeling it if you're looking for an interface i think rme is probably the best on the market so with that said no endorsement i mean i'm open i will do content for rme but i'm not connected with them at this moment anyways this is just a great interface the radac card which is my main card it's all running through adat it has 32 inputs, 32 outputs, and it's all done through ADAC cables. It's actually more than that because there's AES and SPDIF, 34 ins, 34 outs. I own five RME interfaces right now. I'm just stoked. I have the Babyface Pro also. I just bought the Babyface around Christmas and I use the Babyface as my travel interface. I just love it. I keep it in my backpack. It's bus powered. I can plug it right into my laptop and it just works. There's no driver issues ever. So like I was saying, they actually write their drivers from scratch. Other audio companies, they use generic drivers, but RME, since they write their own drivers, they're really good with both PC and Mac. I did a lot of research and I went with RME because I've just heard so many good things about it. And I didn't know how much I was gonna like total Total Mix and the Arc USB, but Total Mix is for my workflow an absolute game changer because I'm doing mostly studio work. I'm not tracking tons of instruments at one time. I just need two inputs at a time. And for me, this is great. I can choose through these snapshots and have routing all over the place anytime. What's dope about the RADAT is it doesn't have any converters. It's just an ADAT interface. So I can plug in any converter from any interface I want. I can swap out converters. I could do whatever I want. I got the Pulse 16, which is 16 ins and outs. And that's good for me right now. It sounds really clean, sounds good. So that is the RME. I'm stoked about it.